Today, I'm gonna to show you how to use darkmode.js, which allows you to near instantly add a dark mode toggle to your site. Hey everyone, what's up? Gary Simon, of course, Setro.com. So today we're gonna to check out implementing a dark mode toggle to your site. Now, in the past, I did do a tutorial where I showed you how to create one from scratch and you can check that out on the channel search. I'll try to remember to add it to my description. If I don't remember, please let me know in the comments. Uh, and basically, darkmode.js is a very quick way of doing that that takes away a lot of the legwork associated with having a dark mode toggle switch on your site. So it, here is the main page for darkmode.js, which will be linked in the description. Um, and it shows you a couple different de demos that you can check out, you know, with how this thing actually works. Click on here. Very nice. I, and we're gonna, I'm gonna show you how to use it, how to install it, and along with the available options and how to control uh, and override different things based on what's high, you know, the needs of your user interface and how it interacts with uh, mixed blend mode. Uh, this is also inspired, and I recall, I recalled reading this article, which was last month, about using mixed blend mode difference property in order to create a very quick solution for your toggle, your dark mode toggle switch, and that's what this uses. Very, very cool stuff. So as always, make sure to subscribe if you haven't yet, and let's get started. Okay, so we're gonna first get started by uh, just creating the basic project. We're gonna write the HTML and the CSS from scratch. It's gonna be very minimal, but still I wanted to start from scratch so that you understand the HTML structure and the CSS properties and values just to see and understand how they interact exactly with darkmode.js and how this whole effect works. So I have a blank folder here in Visual Studio Code uh, and I'm going to hit, uh, let's see, index.html we're gonna create. Um, hit exclamation point enter. Um, underneath the title, we'll just put in a link and then hit enter. We're gonna link that to a CSS folder, main.css file. Let's create that real quick. So a new folder of CSS and a main.sass file. All right, so I have the, uh, the live SAS extension installed um, as, as well as the live server. So we're gonna use both of those, make sure that's installed. Um, and then, all right, let's get right ready and just create the, uh, the HTML markup here. So I'm gonna have a header uh, tag and I'm just gonna have a div, cla div class container. And this will just help uh, center up this content. And so we're just gonna have an A, my company, hit enter and it's not going anywhere. Okay, so I just kinda wanted to have a header just with l at least a logo. It's not gonna have a navigation. All right, um, main, we're gonna have a, a class of container and an H1 with the type of headline. Let's see, what else? A paragraph. Um, we'll have, uh, also I'm gonna use the lorem extension as well, so just do a search for that if for your extensions. Maybe, I don't know, 15 words. So lorem 15. Um, after that, we will have, let's see here, just a button, like a call to action button. And that will be call to action. Very simple stuff. And then finally, uh, we'll just have a section. And in that section, we'll have our container. And then we'll have an H2, an article about life or something. <laughs> I don't know. And then we'll do um, a paragraph. This will be lorem 100. Let's just uh, replicate this line. So shift alt down arrow key a couple times. And just to make them a little bit different, I'll get rid of some words here. There, okay. So now if we, uh, let's first click watch SAS on our SAS file, and then we will right click and open with live server. And this is what our really ugly site looks like. All right, so let's get it looking how we intend it to be by default, the light mode version, I guess you would call it, uh, with CSS. So again, there's not gonna be a lot of CSS properties. I just wanna do the setup work here. So we're gonna have a, a body with a font family of Montserrat, of course. I haven't installed, so I'm not gonna bother linking it. Margin zero. So let's, uh, let me increase this just a little bit. I'm gonna make sure, 
Actually, you guys are cool. You can see that. That's good. Um, Control B, get rid of that sidebar. We'll do a container here. And this is just going to be width 80%, margin zero, auto. Uh, that will center it up. I'm not going to bother making this responsive. So uh, I just want to get this done as quick as possible. So our header, we'll have a background with RGBA 000. Uh, 0.1 just for like 10% opacity and then padding we'll just do one rem unit um, the link inside which is the logo we'll just do font weight bold text decoration is going to be none and the color is just going to be um, like a purple color so 9c 0 e e e all right so let's save it so far just to see what's happening we're coming along um, also, we will have our main. This is kind of like the hero section. So we'll have padding of five rem units on the top and bottom, zero on the left and right. Background is going to be the same color as right here. And then we'll also do color white for the text. So let's check that out. Yep. Now we have to work on that button in a second. So I uh, will have our H1 element font size just going to make it bigger and then also our paragraph that's inside is kind of like a sub headline so we're going to make the font size 1.5 em units margin top zero let's check that out so far we're getting there and um actually let's change margin top to like 0.5 rem units push it down a tad bit more all right and then also our uh, call to action button so a we'll have background we're going to make it white padding will be one rem units two rem units so top bottom left right um, margin top will be 0.5 rem units display inline block font weight bold don't worry guys we're almost done text decoration none and border radius it's going to be five pixels all right uh, we're, we have one more rule set and that's it, but let's check out the results so far. Just very simple, ugly call to action. Um, yeah, there we go. Um, and then let's go ahead down here. We'll say our section, we're just gonna give it padding four rem units and zero. All right, so this is just uh, an example of uh, just a very simple landing page. That's all I really wanted to do, um, although it would probably make sense to change this this button color here to our this color right here. So I'm going to take this color code and we'll change this here color to there. All right. So now there's our, our button. OK, so if you want to integrate a uh, the dark mode and, and do so in a very fast way, then we can use dark mode.js. Okay, so it gives you a number of ways to get work working. Uh, you can use a CDN or a content delivery network. Uh, that's what we're gonna do just to make it very quick and easy. Or you can use, you know, the node package manager to install it on a more robust environment. So um, again, we're not gonna do that. Um, so we'll do the CDN option. We're gonna come down just after or just before the closing body tag. So we pasted that and now we're just gonna have our inline JavaScript here with a script tag. Now, when we come back here, we can see that we have options. Now, you don't necessarily have to use this. You can just do this, but these options allow you to you know, situate where it's at, the mix color, the background color, button color, you'll see all this stuff. So what I'm just going to do is copy all that and we will paste it in here. So we'll just put that right there. There we go. Now let's save it. Coming back, we can now see this little circle that has shown up. Now, if we click this, Ta-da, it sort of works. As we can see, I uh, it gets rid of, it doesn't get rid of it, it changes because it's using mix uh, color mode, the CSS property. And if you have colors, it's going to change those colors on the areas that it's affecting. And by default, if it affects everything. Uh, so 
If you want to remedy that, which you probably would if you have branding colors that need to remain the same regardless of uh, your color mode, you can tackle that in a couple different ways. So the first way is we could simply add a class, uh, as it mentions down here, where you can add the dark mode activated, or no, it dark mode ignore. So let's try doing that. We're gonna place that onto the main element right here. So if I do class equals dark mode ignore, let's save that and see what happens. All right, so let's I do or maximize that, sorry. Now it it works, but for some reason if you hit Control Shift I and we select our main element, they are applying a display inline block for some reason on dark mode ignore. Um, and I think that's to try to combat, uh, to try to make sure that isolation, isolate actually works. So, because there are certain cases where it won't work unless it's display block or inline block, and you'll see that in a second. So if this happens and, it, and adding it breaks your layout as it, it has done here, then we could remedy that in a few different ways. The first way would be simply to leave the class here, and then we'll go back to our main element and just specify width 100%. So save that, we'll go back, we'll maximize, and now the width is expectedly 100%, and now it's ignoring uh, the parent element along with all of the child elements inside in terms of having this effect affect that part specifically. Um, so, we could also approach that in another way. Uh, so going back, let's say we wanted to remove the class. We'll save that. And now we can add simply isolation, isolate. And this will do the same thing. So again, it all depends on how you want uh, uh, to how you want it to affect your layout or not affect your layout. Um, we can also apply it to our A element. So we can put in isolation, isolate, and this is for our logo, like if we don't want our logo to change green as well. Uh, watch what happens though, it doesn't work. And that's because this needs to be display block in order for it to work. So now if we try it out, it's gonna work and now it's our purple color. Very, very cool. Now you could also add, uh, because if we take a look at the inspector real quickly and toggle this thing on, and we look at the body element, right here we see a class of dark mode activated. So this will get removed every time we toggle it on or off, or off rather. So dark mode activated is a class that we now have access to in order to change uh, specific elements. So for instance, if we wanted to change that, um, for whatever reason, you wanted to change a given color uh, to something else, let's say we, we wanna remove this part, isolation, isolate, and that means it's gonna change it to that green color again. If we wanted to have it affect the color in some different way, perhaps, we could, for instance, I uh, do this. We can target dark mode activated in main. And then we can say background, I don't know, green. <laughs> now it's not gonna be green because of the mixed blend mode. It will be some other color such as pink. So you have a lot of options here in terms of how you want this to affect, but it is a quick and easy way to get a dark mode toggle switch added to your site. All right, so once again, it's a quick and easy solution for getting a dark mode integrated very quickly on your site. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't yet. Leave a comment and I'll see you real soon. Goodbye.